All right, then we've resumed uh, our lesson. We're going to be looking at how we will use images as background images to replace this maybe perhaps a solid, boring solid background that we added in the last uh, section of our class. On the banner section here, we actually have added a background color, which we'll okay it with. We might want to make it lighter to look very close to the background that we are proposing to use and use a much deeper shade. Okay, let's just say background uh, image. And in that background image, we could create a URL, image1.png, and we save. Uh, we could also place that in quotes, and it will work. So that's the image. We could add all the features. For example, we could say background position. For the background position, you could simply say center. Another thing you will notice is that it's repeating. And we don't want the repeat to happen. So you could say background repeat, background repeat, we could say no repeat, background size, and we can choose cover. And that it fills, it fills the entire region of the of the banner. So this H1 element that we have here is what we want to now style. I'm going to be showing you how we're going to integrate Google Fonts into this design. And when we create Google Font into the design, we'll go ahead again and style until we are done with the banner. Then we'll proceed to the lower section of our page. Okay, we want to use a Google Font called Poppins. And I would like to take all of the fonts for now. That's be too heavy for an average web page. You take just about the fonts you need. But because I don't want to come back and forth to this, depending on the font weight that I might have need of, uh, we will take all the fonts. Okay, while we're done with that, we simply copy this link or we use the at import and bring it into our CSS file. You could use the link. This one will go into your HTML file. And the HTML file is going to be like right beneath your CSS style here. You place this there to use the popping font or you use the at import for the at import you will copy this you go to your css style and you place it at the very top right there let me show you what that is like copy this go to our css file here paste it over there now save nothing is going to change in our style in our script nothing changes because we are making use of a different font here. For us to use that font we just placed, if you look at the Google font direction, you'll see font family poppins. So what we need to do is to get rid of all of these other fonts. We won't be needing them anymore. Uh, if the site is gonna be on the internet, the chances are that the Google font will always be available or it will fall back to any sans serif font. Let's just say, okay go back to our page and now Poppins is now the font active on our page.